To stand a chance of winning, I'll need to find a way of tipping things firmly in my favour. So I'm on my way to England's famous Cambridge University to explore the forces involved in moving a vehicle. I've now seen the types of events that strong men are up against, and each one has a lot of variables. So I'm in Cambridge, and I'm going to meet a doctor of engineering. This is Dr. Hugh Hunt, Senior Lecturer in Engineering and Master of Physics. I'm hoping he can help me understand the science of pulling trucks so I can design a winnable challenge for my contest with the Big Z. I need your help. I have found myself in a challenge with a strong man. Now, yes, exactly. No, no, sorry, my, I yeah, didn't yeah, no, my reaction uh, as well. But I thought there might be something in science that I can use to my advantage. It's kind of Newton's laws of motion, gravity, power, all of that stuff. This is the formula that matters. After bringing him up to speed on my vehicle pull idea, Hugh takes me through a number of key principles of physics. If we go right back to the idea of Newton said that things will move at a constant speed mm -hmm. unless you apply a force. Now that means that if you imagine you're pushing a car along the road yeah. at constant speed, well, you don't need a force. And that seems a bit strange, but the reason why you do need a force is because there's friction acting in the opposite direction. Okay. But, but there's a bigger problem getting a car started, which is about the, the rubber and the tires. Okay. And I've got a, a bike wheel here. When you've got a weight on a tire, you squash a little bit of the okay, tire. Okay, so it becomes it flat. Becomes flat. And as you're rolling along, it kind of looks as if it's just flat or stays flat. But oh. it's a different bit of the tire that's having to be flattened. So you're squeezing, then squeezing, then squeezing, then squeezing. And the energy that you need to put in to pushing a car, a lot of it goes into squeezing the tyres. Right. Which, which actually is a good reason for keeping your tyres pumped up, because it saves energy. So if my challenge involved pulling a car, I could make it harder for the Big Z just by letting some air out of his tyres. But clearly, that would have little effect on a man of his stature. I need something else. How about gravity? We know about gravity when we're lifting things straight up. Mm -hmm. But if you're rolling a, a car mm -hmm. up a hill, yeah. then there's a component of gravity that's right. trying to push down the hill. Okay. So a bit like friction, you're having to work against gravity when you're going up a hill. Well, I can use basically gravity to help me, okay. help me pull something. Yeah. Be a bit obvious if I was on a hill there. Science has given me the beginnings of an idea which might just give me a chance of victory. It's judgment day, and after weeks of research, I think I found what I was looking for. I've had to search around the world for a very specific place. I've moved the challenge to a rather soggy Poland, so I've done the prep work, I've done the math, I've done the science, and I think I'm going to win this one. Big Z, how are you doing? Good to see you again. Good to see you. You've been training? For sure. You have, haven't you? God, you look even bigger. So, I've come up with a challenge that I think I may be able to compete with you, OK? And this is what we're going to do. We're going to do a truck pull. Now, as you notice, we've got two trucks, two fire trucks. Uh, we're going to pull them at the same time, 25 metres. Truck pull is one of my best events. OK. What do you reckon? You see the trucks. Which one would you choose to pull? This one. This, this one? one? Coming this way, towards us. I kind of thought this one was looking a little bit downhill, so I was hoping to pull that one. But it's OK, you can have it. I'll take the other one. All right, well, look. Gentleman's handshake. As we prepare to go head to head, I can't help but worry that the Big Z is bigger than I remembered. And he counts the truck pull as one of his strongest events. For the challenge, we'll both be pulling identical 10-ton trucks, but in different directions. 
will start on the whistle and finish on the klaxon, which will sound when one of us is the first to cross the 25-metre line. We're on a slight slope, and I seem to have picked the short straw as it looks like the road ahead of me is going uphill. Ready! Nothing to it. Let battle commence. Remember, the trucks are identical in every way. Amazing! I've done it! Impossible as it may seem, I've just beaten the world's strongest man in a 10-ton truck pull. And he doesn't look best pleased. He only managed to pull his truck 10 metres. Clearly, there's no way I could have beaten the Big Z in a test of strength. Oh, I'm squishing my finger! My visit to Dr Hsu got me thinking about how I could use the effects of gravity to my advantage. It's fair to say the location of the challenge was critical. I chose Gorozar in Poland because it has an extraordinary geographical feature known as a gravity hill. This short stretch of mountain road appears to be going uphill, but actually has a slight downhill gradient. This unbelievable optical illusion is brought about by a number of factors including the shape of the road and, most significantly, the absence of a visible horizon, which usually allows us to make judgment of our surroundings. With the two trucks positioned back-to-back -back at the start, the Big Z chose what he thought was the easier option of pulling his truck downhill. In reality, the reverse was true. This road looks as if it's going uphill that way. So, if I put the tyre here, should be going, that's uphill, what we think is uphill, but it's actually going, going downhill. And that was the only way I could think of beating the world's strongest man. I knew from my time with Dr. Hugh that a mere 1% incline would make the Big Z's truck pull twice as difficult as on the flat. So the 10 ton fire truck is suddenly equivalent to a 20 ton truck. And so, with gravity taking the Big Z out of the game, I was left with a relatively easy task of keeping far enough ahead of my truck to avoid getting flattened as it rolled downhill. Thank you for being such a good sport. Thanks very much. <laughs>